we want to evaluate the indefinite integral or find the antiderivative. But now we know a lot of integration is pattern recognition, so it may be tempting to perform u substitution to find this integral by letting u equal the radicand or u equal four minus nine x squared. Let's try this and see why it doesn't work in this case. If we let u equal four minus nine x squared, notice that differential u would be equal to negative eighteen x dx. And notice how the integrand does not contain an extra factor of x, and therefore this u substitution won't work. So if we take a look at our integration formulas and try to find a formula that fits this pattern, we should be drawn to these three integration formulas that involve an inverse trig function. And looking more closely, we should recognize that it fits this integration formula here. Now let's see if we can determine a, u, and differential u. Let's begin by factoring out the six. So we can write this as six times the integral of, we would have dx divided by the square root. Looking at our formula, we have a squared minus u squared, which is good news because four is a perfect square and so is nine x squared. So let's write this as two squared, which is four minus three x squared, which is nine x squared. So notice in this form, we can identify a and u and then find differential u. So notice that a would be equal to positive two, u would be equal to three x, which means differential u would be equal to three dx. Let's go ahead and solve this for dx by dividing both sides by three. So now we have one third du equals dx. So just to make sure we're clear here, notice a is equal to two, u is equal to three x, and now we know one third differential u is equal to dx. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u and then apply the integration formula. So we still have the six, and then again dx is equal to one third du, Let's factor out the one third, then we have differential u divided by, we have the square root of a squared minus u squared. Let's just verify that's still correct. A squared would be two squared or four, which is correct. And u squared, since u is equal to three x, would be nine x squared, which is also correct. So now we can go ahead and apply the integration formula. Six times one third is equal to two, so we have two arc sine of u divided by a, which would be three x divided by two plus c. This would be our antiderivative. I hope you found this helpful.